Guys, today we are going to be reviewing the AK-47 Kalashnikov, aka Spetsnaz version. Okay, this gun is mainly sold in the Sports Authority kind of weapon aisles, but this is one of the nicest guns I've ever seen. It's unbelievable to see actually how this weapon's made. And um, what company this is actually made by Cybergun. It is um, partially metal, partially plastic. Sorry. Um, as you can see, hop up in there. Um, iron sights on the front and on the back here. Uh, the top receiver is made of metal and the bottom receiver is plastic. We have a full metal trigger and full metal trigger guard. We have the magazine release, which is fully metal, right here. Um, we have a kind of rubber stock and rubber hand guard so that, you know, the gun's not wiggling everywhere like that and stuff. It stays in place very nice. I'd say on the inside of this rubber, um, it would probably be uh, metal. It definitely feels like a metal, but you know, I can't take the rubber apart. It'll probably break the gun. This upper receiver part is clear, and so was the magazine, but we actually painted this to a Red Tiger camo patterns. And we're most likely going to paint it just to black. This is a 400 round winding uh, high cap magazine clip. And it's pretty nice overall gun. And uh, we have a metal barrel up here. And the red flash eye. I mean, orange flash eye, sorry. Okay. And as I said before, the clip is released here um, with the metal clip release and you can also you know use other clips to release this magazine and I'm gonna go over to my friend Pat and he's gonna tell you a little more about the gun right? so if you I'm going to be going over the stats of the Clash of Cloth AK-47 manufactured by Cybergun. I'm going to be going over like the FPS, the range, the RPM, which is um, rate per minute, and um, pretty much that's it. So first off, the FPS on this gun, with the box it said it's supposed to be 487 FPS, but we've tested it, it's around 400 with 20 grams and then 3 55 with 0.25 gram BBs and they're all high grade so um also the range is about 180 feet so that's pretty overall nice gun what <laughs> 